Ciao everyone, I'm Rosella Rago and welcome back to Cooking with Nauna. I am here in the kitchen with my beautiful mama Angela. Say hello to everybody. Ciao a tutti. <laughs> and today we're going to be making one of the easiest, simplest dishes that my mom knows how to make. Ma, what are we going to make today? Ah, uh, pizzaiola meat. Steak pizzaiola. Yeah. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Yes. My mother only does things nice and easy. Oh yeah, I don't waste my time. <laughs> time is precious. So this is a really classic Italian-American dish. Uh, steak pizzaiola, it's just a really thin pounded piece of meat and a beautiful tomato and caper sauce that she puts on top. We're even going to make some pasta to go with it. And this is going to be your lifesaver weeknight meal. Perfect first course, second course, bada bing, bada boom. Uh, tutta una volta. Tutta una volta, tutta una volta. So Ma, how do we start? Okay, we just put oil. Okay, I'm going to turn this on yes, for you. Yes, turn it on because I don't like it. I'm only used to my stove. I don't trust any other stoves. You don't trust any other stoves, Ma? No, I, I don't know the other. I get confused <laughs> when I turn them on, you know. I'm afraid I'm going to cause a fire. So this is just a couple tablespoons of olive oil, yes. of extra virgin olive oil in the pan. Of course, always use the best. Always use the best. Yes. My mother doesn't measure though. No. I measured it. The full recipe is on cookingwithnona.com, so just go there for the full measurements. But Ma, do you ever measure anything? Never. No, uh, why not? No, it's boring, Rosa. I don't like boring things. Boring. Yeah. Okay, now you see the oil yeah. here. When you start seeing the little bubbles, tiny bubbles, then it's time to put the garlic. Okay, so yes. we're just going to put some minced garlic in here. Yes, yes. You see, Chopped I cut garlic. it every little tiny pieces. I don't like big, big pieces of garlic. Ooh, uh, I like big pieces of no, garlic. No, no, no. Okay. Okay, we could put the oil. Uh, we could put... Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay. Ah. Smells delicious already. Okay. That looks really, really good. Yeah. Starting to smell Ooh. the nice garlic. And the smell so good. Now, Ma, when did you start making this? Uh, when I was too busy. <laughs> uh, you know, because I had to do it all. I had to take care of the kids, clean the house, and uh, cook every day. So, you know. You come up with shortcuts. Yes, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Now, time to put the meat. So we just have some very thin pounded pieces of beef. Yes. And you can kind of do this with any, you could do this with chicken if you want, veal if you want, but my mother always did it with beef. That's the classic, and yes. that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna put this down into the oil. Yeah. Okay, so in the meantime, we put, yeah, lower that, yeah. Okay, see, we put a little bit of uh, salt. Salt, but, yeah. Some people salt the meat before. My mother does it in the pan. It comes yeah. out good every time. Yeah, yeah. I don't see. ask too many questions. No, no, no. See? A little bit. Now, as you turn it, you have to put salt on the mm -hmm. other side too, you know? Yeah. Of course, ma. of course. Ma. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah, don't go too heavy on the salt. Because then we're going to put capers, so you don't want too yeah, much salt. No, not too much. Okay, great. Just a little bit. Yeah, fine, fine. And don't worry about the meat uh, sticking a little bit to the pan, because once we put the wine in, that's going to deglaze the, th the whole thing, and you're going to be able to scrape those little brown bits up. And yeah. those are actually great for flavor in this sauce. Yeah. See, now that... the the meat, it's almost done. So now we're going to put the wine? Yes. So now we got we put the wine. just some white wine. Yes. I could use a glass of wine right now. Mahabha. No, no, no. Come on. No drinking on the show. Um, <laughs> absolutely. A little drinking okay. on the show is fine, now, no? We put the capers because okay. it's all about the capers, Rosa. It is all about the capers. Yes. They give that little touch that... Uh, Delicate uh, flavor. The, si the yeah. savory flavor. Yeah. But Ma, what about people? Like, like an exotic uh, flavor. If you don't put the, uh, the capers, it's just uh, plain. Uh, what about if people don't like capers? What are they going to do? Well, do then them uh, do? don't make this. 
Don't ma- okay. No. Don't yeah, don't not sense. make this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> Leave just, the capers out if yeah. you don't love capers. No. It's okay. It's still no, gonna but, be good. You know, what are the capers? It'll like? still be good. Don't listen, but the ma. capers they do give a special flavor. The capers are good, but ma, some people are not caper people. Okay, they just make. But then it's a plain uh, uh, pizza sauce. Uh, you know, people this like is pizza what sauce. makes the difference. You know that you have the capers. Otherwise, it's like eating uh, meat and pizza, uh, pizza sauce. Who doesn't like yeah. meat and pizza? Let, let me tell. This is special. Rosa. Very special. This is so good. It's so good. Now we're just letting Easy the wine. Make. Now we're just letting the wine evaporate a little bit. You just don't want to smell any more alcohol. No, you see all the vapors no, coming no. up. That's all the no. alcohol evaporating. You know, so you don't get drunk too. You know? So you don't get drunk. Of course. You know. You're not drunk, ma. Me? Ma quando ma? Insomma. Look what I have to you. Unbelievable. Rosa, you see? You can still smell the wine. Okay. So you need another minute if you yeah, can still smell absolutely. the wine. When the wine evaporates, mm-hmm. then we could put the tomatoes. So we just have this on medium heat. You don't want it too, too high because then it's going to evaporate too quickly and it's going to dry the dish Absolutely. out. So make sure you evaporate this no, on medium. Because you see all this liquid? Yeah. I need this. We need that. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. We need that because that's going to be the sauce for the pasta. Yeah. You know, you can't let the sauce disappear. No, no absolutely. No, because absolutely I, see, not. See, I want the real thick flavor. I don't want to add water. Mm-hmm. You know? If you add water... It loses the natural flavor. Natural flavor. Of course. Ma, say Perfect. flavor. Flavor. Ma, hey, listen, uh, I was born and raised in, uh, in Italy, okay? I like the You're way You're lucky you... that I speak English. I like the way you say flavor. I don't care as long as you understand me, okay? <laughs> okay, so I think all that alcohol is gone. Yes. And we can put in our tomatoes. So yes. these are just about two pounds of plum tomatoes, the Roma tomatoes, the longer ones. Those are the best saucing tomatoes for this particular dish. You could use cherry tomatoes if you have them. If they're in season, it's beautiful. But my mother always used these tomatoes. Yeah, fresh tomatoes. You can't beat that taste, Rosella. They are the oh, best. One more. Yes. And, and of the course, parsley. you put parsley everywhere, Rosa. Parsley, yeah. fresh and parsley. Plus, look how colorful. Yeah. Huh? Don't you I think know. it's so colorful with the green and the red? Oh, almost the Italian flag, Rosa. <laughs> almost the Italian flag. You just need the white. <laughs> I'm gonna save I some of this emotional. parsley for the very end. Yes. So now what happens? Okay, of course we have to put a little bit of salt. Always. A little bit more yeah, salt. When you add tomato, the, add a just, little salt. Yeah, because the tomatoes need salt too. Just a tiny bit, not too much. Mm-hmm. And that's going to draw more water out of the tomatoes. Of course. When we put salt yeah, on them. Because, yeah, I want it to be watery. So I can uh, use this sauce mm-hmm. for the pasta. Okay, so now we added our tomatoes, we added our salt, our parsley. This dish is almost done. Now all we're going to do to this is nothing. We're going to leave it alone for 15 minutes at like medium low heat and it's going to like cook itself. And when we come back, we're going to have our pasta cooked and we're going to be ready to taste it and have a nice bowl of pasta. We're going to have a nice piece of meat. It's going to be a beautiful party. That's right. You can't go wrong. (laughs) Rosa, the meat is done. Oh, this is so good. And it looks delicious. So good. Ah. And you see how our sauce broke down so nicely? Yes. And now it's really a sauce. Yes. And it looks amazing. A super sauce. So put the meat over okay. here. Okay. We got our pasta going in there. I got yeah. it, Ma. I got it. Okay. You do it. Okay. I'm going to take our meat out so we can toss our pasta in the sauce now. Yes. Is there another no. one? I got yeah. it all. No. Ah, one more. Okay. It's hiding. Okay, so our pasta should be perfect. Yes. 
And we're just going to scoop the pasta into the sauce. Ooh, it's done. Perfect. Al dente. You can use any pasta you want for this. My mother always used these little shells. Yeah, I'm attached to it. <laughs> so, yeah. so good. So it's going to be nice and soupy, this dish, which is yes. exactly what you want on like yes. a winter night, on a weeknight. You want to have a nice, hearty first course and second course. One pot, well, sort of one pot. The pasta pot doesn't count. We're Italian. That's just like a given, right? Yes. You always make pasta. No yeah, you got to make pasta. Yeah. We ate pasta every single night growing up. Every single night. Ever so. Why did you make pasta every night, Ma? Because it's good for you. It gives you energy. A lot of athletes eat pasta. They run better. <laughs> My mother did not exactly raise two athletes. Well, I know, I was a little disappointed, but that's okay. You were disappointed I wasn't yeah. an athlete? Yeah, a little bit, you know. What? You were kind of lazy. I was a little bit lazy. Yeah, yeah. I, re I kind of was. I quit dance after, like, oh, yeah, one absolutely. class. I think I just did it for the costume. Oh, yes. And the flowers. And the flowers. I like yeah. the flowers. Oh, at yeah. the recitals. Anyway, this Done. pasta's delicious. <laughs> All right. Turn, can you turn off the burner, Ma? Yes. We got our meat over here. I'm going to bring out the big bowl of pasta. Ma, you going to help me put this in the bowl? Oh, yeah. Delicioso. Looks so good. Yes. Okay, now we're going to get the big spoon and get it all in this nice uh, big pot. Course. Yeah. Family style. Yes. La coppa. <laughs> That's how they called it. I used to always eat out of a big pot like this when I yes. was growing up. Yes. And, you know, it was self-service, whoever wanted more. You used to always give me more, though. Of course, I wanted you to grow. <laughs> but, you know, I never had any problems. My kids had appetite. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay. I didn't have to beg them to eat. But that's because my food was good. <laughs> Happy. Lucky yeah. your food was good, Yeah, Ma. you remember when uh, you used to go and eat at your friend's house? It, Ma, I couldn't eat that. It was terrible. Oh, my God, Mommy. TV dinners. You know, come on. You have to appreciate the fact that I always cook. You did always cook every night. Every yes. night. I'll give yes. you that, Ma. Oh, that looks so beautiful. Oh. And just a little bit of parsley over the top. Yum, 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 yum. I like the green. Yum. Il verde. La speranza mai si perde. <laughs> this looks so wonderful. And I can't wait to taste it. So we got to get two spoons, ma. Of course. Yes. It's going to taste the pasta first. We do like a Italian oh, style. First course, second course. Yeah. Okay. Mmm. Mm. Perfect, just like I remember it. This is a taste of my childhood right here. Absolutely. And it's delicate. Not Very harsh. delicate. Yeah, it's yeah. a light, fresh tomato sauce. Great mm. summer, winter. It's an anytime kind of thing. And I'm going to have a little bite of this meat right here. I'll, here, I'll, do, I'll give yeah. you some first. Don't say I don't think about you. You better. <laughs> I'm your mama. Mm. Mm. Best. Cool. Mm? Came out good? I love this meat. It's always tender. Never disappoints. This is one of those foolproof meals that you like cannot screw up. Right, Ma? It's easy. It's easy. It's easy. It's delicious. I hope you guys make this. And thank you, Ma, for coming on the show and showing everybody how you make your classic easy dishes. Uh, you see, I'm revealing all my secrets. <laughs> That's okay. I'll do it for you. Thank you, Mommy. Ciao. Mwah. Ciao. Mwah.